Some of these videos are very specific and unless you're looking for this exact problem, exact piece of content, you won't find it. But the fact that people are looking these things up and learning something from it, that's really cool. And as long as I helped one person that was looking it up, I did my job and I'm happy with that. How to download a digital game. That's the question of the year. Question of the generation. You know, I was confused how people didn't know this. And I got asked this a couple of times throughout this week. That is why I'm making this video. And I thought to myself, you know, there's actually probably people out there that have no idea that you can play games on this machine. They probably think that it's literally just a Netflix machine or something. But yeah, you can play games just like on any other console that offered digital games. But I also started thinking to myself, there's probably people out here that have never actually owned a digital game before, or they've never downloaded a game, or maybe they've never even connected their console to the internet, and they just rely on buying Blu-ray disc. This is to not offend those of you that called me out for calling them CDs and made me feel old. This is for the people that, yeah, only buy a physical copy of the game, pop it in and just play that probably single player game, there's people out there that are still doing that, they're just never connecting to the internet. They see this $400 machine and they're like, where do I put my games at? You know, no question is a stupid question, so I'm glad someone said something about it, and there's actually a couple of, I literally got requested, make this video, show us how to download a digital game. So I'm gonna show you guys how to download a digital game. The first thing that you're gonna be encountered with is literally the PlayStation Store. The good thing about this PlayStation Store is that it's not like the old one where you have to open the app and it takes like 300 years to see anything. Boom, you're already in the store. You go down, you're already looking at the games you can buy. And this is literally this simple. I have Bug Snacks installed, but I'll delete it. I already have Bug Snacks added to my library. I deleted it just for this video to show you guys how to download it. And you'll just simply press download and that's all you gotta do. It's that easy. So you browse the store, you pick a game. If you wanna do pre-orders, you can. If the game is not pre-orderable like this one, you just add it to your wish list and the system will let you know when you can buy it. We went to the store, we downloaded Bug Snacks, and now you can see it here on your home screen. So I can't open it because it's still downloading, and it says that it was 99 plus hours or something because there was something downloading in front of it. So if you go to Downloads and click on the game, you can see the progress of where it's downloading. And once it's done, you can just open it and you can play the game. That's pretty much it. To see your library of games, you want to switch games or something you would go over here all the way to the right and these are all the games you've downloaded or own or bought for the people that were a little bit confused on how to download a digital game that's pretty much how you do it it's nothing crazy and i hope this helped you figure it out and maybe it'll help you make a decision on whether you're buying games digitally or if you're buying physical editions remember you can do this on the digital edition and you can also do this on the regular PS5 with the disk drive. If you don't feel like going to the store that day, or if you just, you know, you're not going out, you can just download all your games. It'll be the same as if you're buying the disk, except you won't have the disk. And as in same, I mean, they'll still require the same amount of room on your system, and they'll play exactly the same. So I hope this helped you figure it out, and maybe it'll help you make a decision on whether you're buying games digitally, or if you're buying physical editions. That's all for this one. Um, I might have a couple more coming out today just because I'm off today and there's a couple of other things people were talking about that I want to talk about so I'll see you guys on the next one